At the beginning of the film, we are shown that two brothers had built a school. Here on one side good was taught and on the other side evil was taught. This means that good magic was taught on the one hand and bad magic on the other. This school was called the school for good and evil. Now, the two brothers who have this school were fighting with each other with their magic, but here they were just practicing their magic. Later, it turns out that the evil brother, who had bad magic actually hurts his good brother. He uses the magic that should not have been done. He had a special kind of blood magic, which he uses to hurt his brother a lot. And in this fight, the good brother throws the bad brother from a height. Now after this, we are shown the time after two years, where a girl named Sophie lived with her father and stepmother in the human world. Sophie was very beautiful, she wanted to go to the world of fairies, where she wanted to become a princess. There lived another girl who was a very good friend of Sophie, but she was not at all beautiful. Her hair was like a witch, that's why everyone in the city called her a witch. Now, these two were completely different, but still, their friendship was very fast. Now, both of them go to school, then they go to the bookshop, where Sophie takes books of fairies and princesses, while her friend takes books of ghosts and witches. Now, the shopkeeper gives her the same magical book of the school. After looking at this, Sophie asks her where this school is. The shopkeeper says I don't know, maybe no one knows about it. It must be either in this world or somewhere else. And all the stories also started from this school, which we often read in books, they are written from here. But Sophie's friend does not believe. The shopkeeper says that a few years ago, the girl from our village was also taken by the monsters of this school, who has not found anything yet. Now, Sophie wanted to go there after hearing so much about that school. She writes a letter and puts it on a tree. She also writes the name of her and her friend under this tree. Now, she also tells her friend about this, but Sophie's friend refuses her. She says Sophie, what will you do by going there? But Sophie was thinking something mysterious, she wanted to go there. That night Sophie comes to the same place where she wrote the letter. Her friend also follows her, but then a very big monster comes and takes Sophie with him. Sophie's friend was also following her, but then a very big hawk comes and takes both of them. Now that beast takes Sophie to the school of evil and leaves her friend in the school of goodness, Sophie says to the wolf guard there, I have come here by mistake, and I should have gone to the school of goodness, I am so pretty. Now, she goes inside and complains to a lady, who was the principal here. She says that our hawk never makes any mistake, that drops a person at his original place. On the other side, Sophie's friend was in the school of goodness. Seeing her, some girls there make fun of her, saying that your hair is like a witch, and look at the clothes, we think you have come here by mistake. Then some fairies come and take Sophie's friend to the principal there. Sophie's friend says that she didn't want to come here, my friend wanted to come here. The principal says that our hawk never makes a mistake, and never can't come here. Now, Sophie's friend whose name was Agatha, doesn't understand the meaning of never. The principal says that the children who go to the school of evil are called never, because they never stay happy, and the children who want to go to the school of goodness are called ever, who are always happy. Now, all the children are gathered in a hall, where Agatha was wearing a very heavy dress, while Sophie was wearing a very simple black dress, although their choices were completely different. Here the students of evil wear simple clothes, while the students of goodness wear very beautiful clothes. Now, the good students show magic, meanwhile, the prince comes, but an evil student challenges him and knocks him down. Then he looks at Sophie and Agatha, but he went to another girl and sat down. Now, the school head comes, he was the same head who killed his brother, which was bad, which we saw at the beginning of the story. The principal was also their son. Now, he says to all the students, everyone will have to study hard and get good marks, and the story will be written in the honor of the good one, and it will be brought to the world of humans. But then Agatha and Sophie say, if someone has come to the wrong place by mistake. Later, the head says no, this cannot happen, we cannot make a mistake. Saying this, they goes from here. Now at night, Agatha was coming to the evil school to meet her friend Sophie. There she listens to the principals of both the schools talking. After their departure, there comes the head of the school of evil, who was saying that Sophie is now mine. He was the one who made the school of evil. And he also had the magic of blood, which we saw at the beginning of the story. Now how was he alive? His brother had killed him. We will know this later in the story. When Agatha came there, she sees, the girls with her were bothering Sophie on the other side, and also tried to cut her hair. But here Sophie now saves herself, and instead treats that girl very badly. Meanwhile, Sophie sees her friend Agatha there. They both go to the story and together. But there was no one there. In that room, there was only a book and a magic pen. Meanwhile, 
The head of goodness school comes, he says that no one has come here before you, you both are so special, then why do you want to go from here, but Sophie says, I don't want to go, she wants to go. I just came to the wrong school, I don't like my old life at all. Agatha also wanted to take Sophie with her, she asks the head, are all the stories of Cinderella and Snow White true? He says yes, absolutely, all are true, and they all studied here. Here he says to Sophie, if you had been able to come to a goodness school, our hawk would not have sent you to a evil school. She says, I am good, I am sweet, this is for the good. Agatha, her friend says, true love is required for this, when you find this, you will come to a good school. After all this, the head sends both of them to their classes. Now when Agatha was in her class, the girls there inform her, if you fail three times in the test, you will be expelled from the school. She is happy and says, is it true? She says, getting expelled means that you'll become a monster. When the teacher comes and takes her smile test, she fails. On the other side, Sophie's ugliness test was going on, in which she also fails. When these two meet in the hall, Agatha tells Sophie about the king, but her heart was on the prince here, who was the son of the head. Sophie gives a letter to her friend and says, give this to the prince on my behalf. Now, when Agatha was going to the forest class, she gives this letter to the prince and leaves. Now in the forest class, the teacher shows them very beautiful flowers, which were actually very dangerous. He also shows her a scarecrow that is kept standing in the fields. After making a human-like statue, he tells her that he becomes alive at night. Later, a flower bites a boy there, and he runs after being scared from it. This boy failed the third time. When Agatha follows him, she sees that there is a storm around him, and he disappeared. Seeing this, Agatha was very scared. On the other side, a girl was bothering Sophie in the class, and the teacher also does not stop her, because it was a school of evil, and they were enjoying seeing all this. Then that girl takes out a small dragon from her tattoo, who attacks Sophie and troubles her, and tries to kill her. Sophie can't do anything, she was just running here and there to save her life. Meanwhile, a lot of honeybees come there, which had stuck to the dragon. As a result, the girl's breath starts to suffocate. Who sent the dragon behind Sophie, and then Sophie refuses him. Now, the bees were no one else, but the head of evil, who also had the magic of blood. Meanwhile, the principal quickly takes Sophie away. She asks who he was? Now, she tells about the head, also says that you are very powerful, but Sophie says, I don't want to be powerful, I just want to go to the school of goodness. I just have to go to the school of goodness. Later, on the other hand, we see the principal of goodness, that was telling all the students that goodness always saves. Meanwhile, Agatha asks about the boy, who had disappeared from the jungle. She says this is the rule of the school, and by saying this, she makes her silent. Now, she tells that there is a fish in the river, who fulfills everyone's wishes. So, you all have to tell her your wishes. When Agatha's turn comes, she asks that the people who want to go to their house, they can go comfortably. Later, that fish turns into a girl. She says that no one has ever asked for anything like this. You wanted exactly what I wanted, that's why you freed me from magic. The magic that was done on me because I failed the test. Later, she disappears saying this. Meanwhile, a hawk comes there, who brought Agatha and Sophie here. When the hawk approaches Agatha, she understood that this was the same boy, who had disappeared in the jungle. He was now made a hawk. Meanwhile, the prince comes and kills him with a sword, while thinking that maybe Agatha was going to be killed. In anger, Agatha punches the prince's face, asking why he killed the hawk. She says to the principal, you call this a good deed? This is not a good deed. In fact, this is worse than evil. After this, she meets Sophie. She says that I have seen the head of evil. Agatha says yes, I have also seen. Then the prince listens to them. Now, Agatha leaves her alone and goes away from here. The prince praises her letter. Then the wolf guard of evil comes and takes Sophie away where the principal of evil cuts her hair, and then she is locked in the room, where the evil head comes in the mirror, who instigates her that there is no one here except me, and you can trust me. After this, Sophie was convinced by him, and then when all the student was being distributed magic through a pin, Sophie comes there with a style, and goes after taking the magic, everyone was watching her, now, she had made those girls friends too who troubled her, Agatha tells her that if you want to win the prince's heart, then beauty is not enough for him. You will have to do everything I say. Now, the next day Sophie goes to the prince, who was practicing shooting arrows. Then the prince tells her that, students of evil can never hit the right target, but Sophie hits the target. The prince was very surprised to see this. Actually, the target was hit by Agatha's magic. Now, the prince chooses Sophie to be his queen. 
but no one likes this, Agatha says that true love never fades away, now, a master says all right, we will find out about this when we separate them in the jungle, if they find each other, then their love is true, we will never separate them again, now, they are left in the jungle at night, but Sophie didn't know anything about that jungle, she goes to those beautiful flowers that start biting her, she goes to the scarecrow out of its fear, that used to become alive at night, she was screaming out of fear, so, Agatha came there to help her friend by becoming a pigeon with her magic, meanwhile, they hear the prince's voice, now Agatha hides herself and sends Sophie to him, the prince's magic sword fell down because of that scarecrow, the scarecrow was hitting him a lot, Agatha points at Sophie to pick up the sword and give it to the prince, but she doesn't do anything because of fear, now when the prince was about to die, Agatha comes, and she picks up his sword and gives it to him, who kills the scarecrow, the prince gets very angry with Sophie, that she didn't save his life, and here Sophie was angry at Agatha, now she also leaves her, when she comes back, Agatha's principal scolds her a lot, she says, do you trust your friend, she says no but I believe that all humans are bad, on the other side, Sophie was quite angry, the head of evil shows her friend in the mirror, she was saying that Sophie is bad, but he doesn't show her the whole thing, because of which Sophie is very angry, and now she was in the control of the head of evil, he also gives her the magic of blood, which was the most dangerous, when the principal comes to her, she also tells her, here we come to know that the principal of the school of evil, she was the same girl who disappeared twenty years ago from Sophie's city, in the school of goodness, the prince now chooses Agatha as his queen, then Sophie comes here, now, she had become a witch, her face was also scary, it was all because of that blood magic, and she says, I will be your queen, she leaves saying this, then they see that with her magic Sophie, has changed all the teachers and guards of the school of evil into small toys, now, the prince goes to attack the school of evil, but there Sophie stops his magic and attack, and attacks them in exchange, now the students of the school of evil were becoming beautiful, and they were changing into the students of the school of goodness, whereas the students of the school of goodness were changing into evil, and they become ugly, now a fight begins between everyone here, Agatha goes to Sophie and stops her, she says, please stop all this, don't do this, then Sophie goes to the room, where there was a magical book and pen, she came here to kill the head of the goodness, but then she sees that the head of goodness turns into the head of evil, the one who gave her the magic, now the head of the evil says, I was alive from the beginning, when I fell from that height, so I came back and killed my brother, and took his place, as we were shown in the beginning of the story, now as soon as he controls Sophie, everything starts to destroy there, Sophie tells him to stop it, I didn't want this, I didn't want to kill everyone, meanwhile, Agatha comes there, the head of the evil says, this is mine now, you can't take her anywhere, she says, you can't do anything to my friend while I'm here, then the head of the evil attacks her with a magical pen, but Sophie had come before her, the pen hits her, now because Sophie and the head of the bad had the same magic, as soon as the pen hits Sophie, she gets injured, and their magic becomes different, now the prince also comes there and starts to hit her, but he attacks her in exchange, because of this, the prince also falls away, but Sophie with her magic, her sword was turning towards him, who now jumps and catches Agatha, and kills the head of the bad, now Sophie was dead too, Agatha cries a lot when she sees her, but when her tears fall on her wound, she comes back to life, she is very happy to see her, now both the good and bad people meet there, they all started to live happily with each other, then a portal opens with magic, which was the way to their house, Agatha tells Sophie you stay with the prince, I'm going home, but she says no, we both will go together, now both of them came back to their world, and start living life like old again, but now they had magic, one day, the prince's arrow hits a tree in the human world, which makes a sound saying Agatha I need you, and with this the movie ends here.